sorry, Make Yara. Me, How Emily? are you doing right now? No, no, no. This is great. This is beautiful. Emily Lynn and, and I were hanging out on Thursday night, like we do, talking until way too late. And around 1 a.m., I came up with the name Ringo Bingo when trying to jokingly create because Italian I was talking director's about Italian name. filmmakers. Yeah, because and, I didn't know and, any of the filmmakers. And Aranok said Ringo Bingo, and I started screaming, Oscar winner Ringo Bingo, Steven Spielberg, eat my ass, Ringo Bingo, till I die. And then we started all tweeting about it. So if you go back yeah, to the, and like there's coming just about up with a two-hour period that is just all three of us tweeting the most... Hashtag oh, Ringo Bingo Hive, we're going to get it trending. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, hi, hey, so, and, Oh, hey! Oh, okay, good night. Love you. Thanks for being on the stream. <laughs> oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, uh, friend. Friend. That's all. Oh, okay. Friend is logging off chat. Uh, that's all. Aww. Continue. Well, have a good night. Oh, awesome. um, so we we oh, made a Ringo Bingo, and then we realized we could make the most amazing <laughs> fake documentary about a filmmaker that doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, try to convince everyone else to be a part of the film. <laughs> to that end... The Ringo Bingo truther has put forward $20. Ringo would never die paragliding. It was an inside job. <laughs> he knew too much about what really caused. Sorry. Who really caused Y2K? Y2K? <laughs> oh my god. My theory is that Bingo's not actually dead and this is an Elvis type situation. Ringo Bingo is <laughs> on an island making secret films. Oh, no, no, no. I... He's obviously an immortal. Who just went back underground for another couple hundred years? Okay, so I'm gonna I... interrupt the Ringo Bingo lore really quickly. You're... <laughs> Do you want to tell everybody what your most recent video was, or a video that you put up recently that you were really proud of? That kind of stuff. Before we get yeah, too we've deep been, we've into been asking... our Ringo Bingo lore. See now I'm yeah. over here like um, brainstorming Ringo Bingo Criterion Collection. <laughs> Yes. Oh my god, yes. Yes, yes. yes you totally Thank understand you. this. You get it. <laughs> I love it. Um, but we've been asking everybody who comes on to uh, speak about their most recent video so people can go see it. And um, the the video that they're either like most happy with or they're most proud of from last year. Slash, like, the the last year, year or so-ish. Yeah, the last 12 months-ish. Alright, um, that's, that's gonna be fun. Okay, so my most recent video was, uh, a little, a little ditty about my best friend's wedding and how it reframes <laughs> romance. Um, and the video I'm most proud of is probably the one I made last summer about holes, um, yes! in the industrial video. complex. Yes, that video is oh, so good! Oh, yeah, well, I've seen that one, yeah. That's yeah! One that, that's I knew I'd seen your videos before, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Well, I'm, I'm happy you're proud Out of that of video. Because <laughs> <laughs> it uh, really encompasses a lot of what Holes is about. Also, I'm going to switch back to my computer, so I'll actually sound okay now. <laughs> Yay. Uh, uh, so I, 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 I think it is It is literally, it has wow. been like 15 minutes since I decided, like, started checking out. Cool. I'm thinking I'm going to have to um, leave. Okay. Yes. Okay. Go take a Emily, rest. go go sleep for a little bit. Yeah. But I do yeah, want to say, like, I, I I love being part of this stream. I'm going to be back here in the morning. I'm going to cut my sleep schedule short because I want to be a part of the ending of this. Yeah. It's really nice to meet all of you. Uh, uh, Polyphonic, I wish I could have talked more about music with you because I'm a huge music nerd. Uh, not the bu internet's busiest, but still. <laughs> and good. <laughs> uh, I, but also, like... Movies may be my thing, but I really, like, you're, you putting out a video on In the Court of the Crimson King is motivating me to try and get through the entirety of King Crimson's, uh, extensive discography. Oh, <laughs> and I, I have never gone through another discography, so... <laughs> I still haven't listened to Red. I need to listen to Red. Um, uh, it's almost as good as Bingo's Red, Red period. Stuff. <laughs> it always comes back to bingo. Always. Fuck! And, uh, Yara's right. intro, I was watching, like, a bunch of your videos last night, particularly Reefer Madness and the, uh, music documentary ones, and they were really good, and I'm really happy I found your channel. Super Sister Lady really Night. And, Thank you. fucking, I wish I could talk to you more, but also, <laughs> I literally want to, uh, 
pass out. Go, go collapse. Right? I <laughs> wish I could do that, but I made oh. this decision. <laughs> yes. okay. We've been at it for 12 hours now. Happy halfway point. <laughs> hey. hey. And, and also, I'm just going to plug my channel. Uh, as with Emily on YouTube, I make film videos. They're not I'm that great. I'm getting list. better. Emily, uh, stop <laughs> doing that. <laughs> Emily's You're very talented. Emily makes I would highly recommend. I would highly recommend that go. I look go terrified on camera. <laughs> That's fine. You're getting better, as you said. You're, you're doing just think great. Of it just think of it like this one day in 10 years when you're a super mega ultra pro and you have a bajillion subscribers, people are going to go back to your early videos and be like, oh, look at baby Emily. She's so cute. Oh, it'll, it'll be, be so cute. For years, what it's I worth. moved on to filmmaking. <laughs> <laughs> for what it's okay. worth, I don't even show up on camera, so you're incredibly brave for camera. Yeah, no, anybody yeah. showing up on camera is braver than any U.S. Marine. Good night, Emily, and I will see you back <laughs> at the is, end of the stream. That is Emily's YouTube and Twitter. You should all go subscribe and and after after charity stream, I, I hope you all have a bunch of wonderful videos to watch because we've had so many amazing guests who really do so amazing many good work. Things. Like so yeah. much I've good work out so there. So many fucking cool people. Like I, oh I, I mentioned yeah. earlier, it was really funny to me to be in the same call as Michael from Us Star Street. Like I literally had one of his videos shown in one of my film classes. So like I'm just in a university class and just someone I now have talked to was shown to me. I yep. look at screenwriting. Life is weird. Mm -hmm. Now go sleep. Michael is uh, I, I wasn't I wasn't on with him, but I've met him before. He's also just such a delightful human being. He's really oh my nice. god, he's so fucking so, He was very oh mellow god. for not understanding a goddamn thing that's happening in this fucking game. <laughs> yeah, I I uh talk to you all in the morning. Talk to you Thank in the morning. Good night. Later, Thank you so much. Good night. Hey folks, I'm gonna just take a moment to stretch, but before I do, uh, I want to remind everyone who's watching here on Lady Night Stream to take a drink of water, stretch and move if you're able, make sure that any meds you're gonna take, you have taken, and know that uh, you are loved, you are valid, and trans rights now. Yeah. I'll catch you guys. I'll be back in a few more. Uh, <laughs> lovely to meet you, Yara. See you in a sec. So, Yara, how's your day been going? It's been solid. I haven't done anything. Um, <laughs> That's amazing. Where are you? That's a good thing sometimes. Yeah, I'm sorry. What was the. You said. Someone said. Here. I just said, what? where are you? Like in the universe? It... <laughs> so, yeah. What, whatever. Physically. I guess what. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, like emotionally, um, eh, and then physically, <laughs> I mean, in the universe, I, I'm actually on Earth in Atlanta. <laughs> cool. So this is late for you, then, ain't it? Yeah, no, it's my birthday now. Um, when I happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Today. We had. Uh, I didn't realize I was setting this around everybody's birthdays. <laughs> so Rasputin raided in earlier, but he. Uh, he had to uh, go do birthday stuff, and then um, who, who else? There's another person that had birthday stuff. Um, Bread Sword's Sword. birthday. Bread Sword had birthday, and <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. It's so bad to sing on Discord. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Mr. President. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm fighting a big robot. Love. That was gorgeous. <laughs> I do a really good acapella impression, um, if you guys want to hear. Yes. Acapella impression of what? Uh, of the birthday song. Why not? Let's go. Yeah, oh. Let's go. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy Milo, what the fuck? Milo! No, no, I think this actually might be... <laughs> Look at this. Oh. Very good. We could time. get flagged, I guess. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, happy yeah, yeah. birthday is officially in the. Oh wait, the, the it's specific right recordings. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's, yeah. it's a voice mod recording, and it's it's I've paid to use it. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> but happy birthday! I'm happy glad birthday. I'm glad that you're mm -hmm. having a chill birthday so far, even if life is a little. Well, bad. I mean, like it it just started because it's 1 a.m. here, so it started in oh. Morocco. So, so we are the pretty. first people to wish you happy birthday. Yes. First, yes. first to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, first. And also, really, um, it looks like somebody cool. just uh, gave us a whole people message about um, 
Oh, I'll go look at Bingo, it. Bingo, Bingo. It's quality reporting. You can just make you keep also, playing, I'll go find it. We're, we're in Big Hero 6 right now, by the way. Um, I hope you like Wait, Big Hero what? 6, Yara. There's a, a Big Hero 6 hits. section of this oh, game? Oh, yep. It's the weirdest Yep, we get to ride Baymax. I'm not- I'm not meta- I'm not- Pirates of the Caribbean. Where'd they come from? Big uh -huh. Hero 6. Uh-huh. Why don't we ask the guy- Also, there's gonna be a dumb desert maze at one point, cause Xehanort goes, meh. <laughs> Baymax is actually like oh, the peak right. of the human form. Like that's the ideal well, uh, human. That's what this smells. Is... <laughs> oh, also a really stupid thing is about to happen because they say that they're the big hero six and Sora decides what now? Can someone in chat clip Noah saying Baymax? <laughs> This is the ideal human form, because that is... I need that sound clip, that's too powerful. Make that your ringtone. <laughs> no, God, no. Um, For a second, I thought this was the monster. Um, there's a lot to... If I actually finish the game before 24 hours, there's a lot of extra content after you finish the game. So, like, I'm not worried. But also, we need to get all the all the lucky emblems to get the secret ending. So, like, we got a lot. But, um, I just... So, Sora's about to be a dipshit because they said they're the big hero six, and Sora's like, cool, this is the thing I want to get in on. So he yells that they're the Keyblade Hero three, and they pose, and everybody's like, what? That's and nothing. <laughs> also, okay. I'm doing some research for another uh, for another you know, poster don't, here, don't and I've points. discovered that Wikimedia so, Commons has a category called we? unidentified <laughs> pizzas, but unfortunately, <laughs> there are no photos in it yet. <laughs> Do you guys want me to read the uh, long post about Ringo Bingo? Yes, yes, yes please. Yes, please. Yes, Someone uh, donated. Yes, <laughs> Ringo Bingo's best films were during the formative age. Those films were the only thing that can satire the soul of the society, which hungers for a cinema that is warm and soft. Movies that comfort the mind and ferment discussion. My personal favorite was Fed of the Night, Still Ton by Day, comedy and drama. Why did you read that in a Ben Shapiro voice? I don't know. I was like, that's just Ben Shapiro, right? Like, Why is Ben Shapiro a fan of Ringo Bingo? <laughs> He's not, not like, but he knows that if he knows cool hey, people are a fan of Ringo Bingo, so he tries oh God, to read yes, it, but he we'll fundamentally misunderstands what Ringo Bingo was all about. Right? Yeah, he, oh like, is, he just made up an age that didn't exist. <laughs> Um, oh I should say hypothetically that like I was really into oh uh, you know Ringo Bingo oh because I'm I'm cool <laughs> and hit with the kids. We're going to. Um, you know Ben, I, I don't think that you understand the uh, you know underlying messages we of. Uh, of this this neo-Marxist, you know. <laughs> Thank you. They're, they're coming in here with their Ringo Bingos and 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 their Mamma Mia pizza pies, and I just I can't I can't handle this. It, it, it contradicts the lobster, and that is un, un, unacceptable. You know, I when I talk about you know the collective unconscious and the underlying uh, understanding that you know. Uh, th th this chaos dragon uh, that exists inside is just uh, cool, huh? it it's, it's just I can't stand these Ringo Bingo vision. stands they're unreasonable. Also, they're explaining VR to Sora right now. Anyway, continue. Oh, oh, I just saw what's in chat. <laughs> You Exalt! Ringo it took Ringo me a minute to remember why I know your username, and then I remembered. I see you. <laughs> Putting this filth in my chat! Okay, um. That is a friend of mine who is being oh. filthy in chat. Oh. Wow. I, I Kylo no Ren and Ringo Bingo's greatest is cool. fan. Thanks. I am oh my God. clearly but just too so complicated for you to understand. Um, only a I real Ringo Bingo it. head can, now can we shoot you? Not fully not establish their He's understanding of, of it. And I, I get so really bad. angry randomly and I start yelling. But... <laughs> <laughs> also, um, Ringo Bingo is Italian. I don't think Ringo Bingo should like rap. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> that's probably a bad idea. That's a bad idea. That's a good idea. We can't make our fake filmmaker that kind of problematic. We already made him gay, and he's gonna burn his brother's. Oh wait, no. I'm sorry. Just pan. 
Uh, right. Ringo mm -hmm. Bingo is ace. Uh, Ringo right. Bingo, Ringo yeah, Bingo's only like out. really problematic thing he ever did was was burning his his brother's film, and that's why he became a recluse because he couldn't stand facing the public uh, <laughs> after his uh, defacing of art, and and that's Let's that's why he became a, a big like like I mean <laughs> preservation. <laughs> I will. I will also note that Ringo Bingo did make fo films in the 40s, 50s, 60s, which means by default a lot of his work was incredibly misogynistic, transphobic, homophobic, etc., etc. To some degree, yeah. I love how we had this conversation while I just went looking for Mickey symbols. <laughs> this, this is this is what this game is right now. Capitalism. Your reader. I need you to guide me in the ways of Ringo Bingo. Oh, God damn. <laughs> no. I don't want to do need, that. I need a Ringo Bingo teacher. No! <laughs> no! I hate it! <laughs> I hate it! <laughs> Can you please say, I know what I need to Ringo, but I don't know if I have the strength to Bingo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I know fuck. what I need to Ringo. I d don't know if I have the strength to bingo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> God damn! We are being so cursed! Hey Yara, um, how are you doing? Are you having a good time listening to this bullshit? Yeah, I am. I'm sorry, I'm not- I'm not saying a lot because I'm just really entertained by everything you guys are saying. <laughs> it's like, you're having a good time! Up, I'm like, I'm seriously contemplating the documentary and I'm like, yes, this is- this is his life. This is what it's like. <laughs> I want every, 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 like, we need to spread this so it's a big thing on YouTube. So, like, uh -huh. all these, oh, yeah. all these essayists are just talking about Ringo Bingo, and then we'll see who the fake people are by pretending they also know who Ringo well, Bingo is instead of so we're gonna put out, we're gonna put out this epic documentary. I want to get, like, everybody to contribute, like, a... Shout when you're ready, sir. Like, maybe a one to two minute clip or something, uh, depending on how many people want to be involved. And, and treat it like it's, like, this very important piece that, that, like, video essayists... YouTube is putting together about the most important thing. And then we can just watch and wait until people start actually unironically trying to say stuff. Like, like I, I want someday to just like <laughs> have someone be like, have you heard about Ringo Bingo? And just be like, <laughs> have I heard of him? I made <laughs> I just, I just, please free chat. <laughs> um, <laughs> search your feelings. You know, Ringo Bingo is true. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Why is it so cursed, but also good? Also, we're gonna fly Baymax around San Francisco okay. and uh, experience VR. Also, there's gonna be a really great bit. It's in a cutscene, so I might end up skipping it, but there's a really great bit where like Sora just does cool shit and they all go, wow, I never considered being cool. <laughs> I I think that uh, even for a virus, like... Oh, Haranok, you need to turn up your volume for Agent oh, Smith. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, give me a second. I need to, I need to A, listen to it. Agent Smith talks so quietly. He's just such a weird little man. <laughs> you, your Agent Smith kind of sounds like George Takei. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, a little bit. I, I, need, I need to hear it, otherwise I slip into, like, other voices, because Agent Smith is such a weird tempo, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> get back off. Fall there. right, Sora. I know, honestly, Sora. <laughs> There's no fall damage in Kingdom Hearts. Why can't you do this one simple thing? Talk without a moat, Mr. <laughs> I don't think oh, you God. appreciate oh, the genius of <laughs> Ringo Bingo. <laughs> the absolute perfection is oh. filmography. Oh, oh god. We made Not him human. so bad. <laughs> oh, I love I love terrible voices. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have too many. I've stolen too many. I like I like I've said before, my main things are children voices. Like before I was doing a, a pretty good boo, just like Kitty! Mike Lazowski! And then also like Disney Princess voice, just like, thank you, thank you very much. Just like I, generic Disney Princess, so not even specific, just generic Disney Princess voice. Or Minnie like, Mouse. Um, like a Disney Princess from one of the parks. 
Yeah, yes. or, or or just Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse is another one that I just I have Minnie Mouse Ooh. in my arsenal. I could just Oh, oh Minnie! Oh no! <laughs> just what's that. Wrong? Oh, what's I have wrong? no voices. Wrong, I'm Minnie? jealous of you all with your voices. It's just it dipshittery. That's oh, all. I, I, just do you want to know how you get good at, 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 at voices? Do a ton of really dumb voices for many, 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 many hours. Just and ignore and annoy your friends while you do it. Yes, for hours. I once spoke as Drifter from Destiny 2 for four hours straight on a stream while we were raiding because chat wanted it and also because I was trying to get the voice down, which um I said I can dethrone God, Guardian. No, that's not quite. Deposit mm -hmm. the boats. There we go. No, I, I'm losing it. I, see, I did too many other voices. I need a second. Um, what about Darth Vader? I, I can't do Darth Vader. Uh, I can't. No. I can do, I can do mm -hmm. Masked Boy's voice. Uh, uh, a very different one. I can do Darth Vader. Really? I mean, Ooh, I can yeah. do Bane. Okay. Do Darth um. Vader. Is that just your inheritance? I am your father. God oh, damn, Mila! What is this true. soundboard you have? Just reach into your heart and accept <laughs> Ringo Bingo as your lord and savior. God damn! Batman? What if I. God damn! Your body? Or your little Ringo <laughs> Bingo? <laughs> See, I can't oh, no. actually do voices, that's why I have a soundboard, so I can DM and have a different voice from it. God damn! <laughs> Oh my god, you, you use your soundboard DMing? That's brilliant. That's so good. Right? Thank you. I, legitimately, the reason I started doing voices was because I wanted to be <laughs> at it for DMing. And it just went from there. Yeah, I I'm, had 20 uh, bucks, so I'm I just got this cool program ball. and didn't have to learn anything. The best gambler in the entire game. university. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be... Don't sneak anything past me, because I'll catch you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be DMing my first campaign soon. That's fucking oh. high! Yeah! Hell yeah! yeah I'm excited. Oh, where, where am I supposed to be going right now? Um, yeah. How am I supposed to get up there? I've got a few mm -hmm. good spooky ones if anybody should want any creepy yeah. creepy pastas read at any point. Mm, but Ooh. it's after dark, and I know how LK feels about scary things, so. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Like we we don't just just remind me of the sad lesbians in Bly Manor. That's just that's the terror I need in my life is tragic God, lesbian I love that ghosts. So, Chat, I love that show so much. Chat, what? can you can one of you please write a Ringo Bingo pasta for us? Bring oh my God! To the Ringo, what are you guys? <laughs> oh, only the Ringo can teach you to color in black and white. I think they're just doing the Darth Plagueis speech, but with Ringo Bingo. <laughs> oh, I, I, also, by the way, I have a big crush on Gogo. -Go. If we're talking about animated characters that are hot, I yeah, really like Gogo. -Go. Understandable. Understandable. Um, Who was everyone's first animated Bradley. character? Not finding. Mm, I want to say Milo and Kita, but I, but. Probably there was somebody earlier. I would say Android 18 was mine. <laughs> Yara, Although, do you have any animated crushes lighting. you would like to share? Hold on, so you saw it. When did you decide you like Android 18? Was it before, after, or when she broke Vegeta's arm? <laughs> <laughs> what a sentence. Before. Yes! Ooh, she goes very good. Oh, he the weapon. Um, the attack. I honestly think it was American Dragon Jake, uh, Jake Long. Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> good choice, good choice! That's a good choice! Um, he had Bill a skateboard. Oh. Oh. Bill Moore! <laughs> <laughs> that chicken was dry. I mean, also, 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 can we get some uh, TJ Detweiler appreciation? Yes, TJ! <laughs> <laughs> God. Was it the guy who did the voice for American Dragon Jack Long also the guy who did Zuko? Yeah. What? What? That is oh, good. damn. God damn. Dante Basco? Yeah. Dante damn. Basco. He's amazing. Yeah. He's fucking awesome. Ah, Dante Basco's so good. He really is. Like, the only thing all... Long he's ever done was being an nostalgia critic. <laughs> 
Wait, yeah, wait, but what? he got paid good for that. He was in Nostalgia Critics video for the Avatar oh. movie, I think. Oh no. Oh well, that's not. But, or look, maybe it was. Not it, it's not great, but at one point he does yell "Honor" while fire pumping balls at the screen. <laughs> oh, also yep. another heart binder. Kasora is trans. Anyway. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we just keep getting them. Don't for mind the record, me. So we are now. We are now sitting at two complete Ringo Bingo posters waiting for your eyes when we four thousand dollars oh for trans Noah? lifeline. No, I, I need to say this. I fucking love you so much right now. <laughs> 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 that you have gotten this into the stupid joke God that I made. Bless. Thank Thanks you. you. Ludicrously happy. Aww. <laughs> so, I'm I, I'm loving it. It's given me somewhere to channel my ADHD energy. Yes. God, I love, yes. I love how ridiculously neurodivergent like most creators' faces are. I feel like there's some kind of energy that you just need to like to channel into specifically YouTube because it's not really a friendly platform, but like it it's I don't know. I don't I just where it's like I have to make this. Yeah. I don't have a choice. I have to. Um, I don't have a solid theory. I just feel like a lot of neurodivergence like, I, lends to artistic oh. creativity, but I don't. I don't know. Well, I think it's. I, I think. I think it genuinely is like a. It is hyperfixation and, and obsessiveness. Like, like, not a lot of people would be like, "I'm going to." On top of working my full-time job, I have to make this coming out video. And it's going to be this giant, extravagant, ridiculous thing that I make. <laughs> and I'm gonna get. I'm Don't so proud of you for finishing it. I am so fucking happy I got it out yesterday. I was like, because I, I had set, I had set the like, I am releasing this before the charity stream. That is my goal because, mm -hmm. so the fact I literally like last minute got it done makes me very happy. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Also, Yara, I wish you could have been on at the same time as Princess. We had her on earlier. <laughs> yeah, I tuned into a little bit of that. I caught the uh, the Sokka Zuko conversation. Mm. Oh my God! Yes, <laughs> I've I've read. I have now reread like three times one specific Zuko Sokka fic because I'm trashy and sometimes when I'm sad I reread fanfic thirty times. <laughs> no, that's understandable. Yeah. You're, you're gonna have to send me the link to that later. Oh, I absolutely <laughs> will. And please talk and please tell me what you think after you've read it. <laughs> yeah. Aww. yeah, I got you. <laughs> I'm just excited so to good. talk with our with, talk with our mouths now because we've DM'd like over text and stuff. I know. But it's I like so talking nice to, like, hear with human you voice. <laughs> I, I, maybe I'm weird, but I prefer voice calls, to be honest. Like, I know, but I, I, there are very few people where I feel like I know them enough to be like, I oh, am yeah, just totally, going to totally. call you out of the blue. I have a couple yeah. of friends who I do that with, but I like never want to make the assumption with other people. So there's oh, like, yeah. a, a, like a tier to my friend groups. It's like, if I'm really close to you, I can call you no problem. And if like, we're, we're cool, we can schedule a call. And if we're acquaintances, we'll text. And if you call me, I won't answer. Yara, I, I have to tell you, just so you know, you can call me whenever the fuck you want. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, whenever will, or whatever. I'm not doing anything. I live inside. It's not like I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, uh, Lady Night Emily and I will literally just be like, anyone want to talk? <laughs> yeah, somebody jump in a voice on, on our Discord. Uh, we want to hang out. <laughs> that's, that's just the thing that happens. Also, I'm riding Baymax. Everybody must know. Look at my oh. boy. My sword boy riding on Baymax. This is so fun. Wee! Wee! <laughs> I just, just also the, the tonal whiplash in this game is astounding. Also, one of my favorite details is because you're literally running around a goddamn city. If you just stop, I can cause uh, some serious traffic by just stopping in the middle of the street because all the cars just stop. They just stop. They won't run you over. So they just stop. That's amazing. <laughs> I just think that's really good. Anyway, I just caused some traffic. Don't mind me. I'm just running around the city with my robot friend and my two cartoon dads. That's that's what Kingdom Hearts is. Quite and I can run up buildings. 
How well planned is this city? Can we get a look at like the urban planning and decide how we can plan <laughs> this city better? I mean, um, you can see the map in the top right corner, which gives you a slightly bigger view. Also, there's areas that just it won't let me walk around in. I will, I will say there's there's a very good population density, and it doesn't look like there's a ton of parking, which is good, because cities are for people, not cars. <laughs> oh my God, amen. Can we can we talk about that video by um? Is it Jacob Geller on, like, oh how, yeah, oh yeah, fuck, that is a phenomenal piece about like the consumption of space by cars. <laughs> I mean, I will say just because I'm a person who's very anxious driving around in Los Angeles, which is a big fucking city, um, I like when there's parking. <laughs> it makes it easier. Yes. I hate street parking. It makes me anxious. <laughs> I know parking lots take up space, and yeah, I get what? it, but also. But the thing is, the thing is, the problem with something like LA is that you need to drive. A well-designed city, you shouldn't actually need to drive. In a well-designed city, there should be lots of public uh, transit infrastructure and also just walkable streets and stuff like that. The problem, the problem with like, um, with cities is that they're they're not designed, especially North American cities, are designed. Un with the assumption that you're going to be driving everywhere, which is not how cities should work. Yeah. Yeah, if there's good, yeah. like, public transit infrastructure, then you wouldn't need to park because you wouldn't need to drive. God, I wish that, that were me. So, I love yeah. people... I live, I live in a city with absolutely fucking horrendous public uh, transit, and I'm in Saskatchewan, so everything's fucking spread out to shit. Oh so god, you you're everywhere. I'm yeah, sorry. you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> I'm in Saskatoon, and it's oh it's yeah, I grew up yeah. in Regina, so uh, yeah, oh. like it's Regina. You, you, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, <laughs> continue. Oh, do you want do you want to story about that? So I, I have had Americans adamantly argue with me that I was wrong about the city name that I grew up in because it sounded too much like vagina for their taste. <laughs> um, like angrily get mad at me like it can't be that you can't so like, you're funny. not allowed to and I'm like it's just embrace that the name is funny oh the city has the, there was a point where the fucking city's the city sold shirts that said uh, it rhymes with fun like it was fucked <laughs> I just feel like there should be oh god I'm not gonna say it that's too gross never mind what <laughs> I was gonna say something about yeast. Like, say the city's yeasty. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, I'm I sorry. Never. I've been up late. Yeah. And. <laughs> We're getting into the hours where I'm gonna start saying weird shit. Oh, I know. Oh, now weird. it gets weird? Holy crap, what has the last 12 hours been? That's just uh, me. That's, that's just baseline. That's, that's baseline. <laughs> I, we're getting, we're almost, we're not quite at like the invention of Ringo Bingo hours levels yet, but we're getting there. We're getting close. We're about, we're about two hours away from like that. Can, can right the out, invention but... of Ringo Bingo be the name document? Yes. Yes. Invention of yes. Ringo Bingo. Yes, exactly. It sounds like we're talking about like what Ringo Bingo made, but like really what we mean is we made up Ringo the Bingo. The invention of Ringo Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I- oh my god. I'm gonna start getting pretty weird, I'm sure. I mean, like, when people are having oh. serious conversations, I just sit here quietly because that's the best thing to do. I don't- <laughs> I've- I, I, I've said this before, but I think Emily and Aranok deemed me the sissy because I am cis, so there are mm -hmm. times where we're talking about this trans stuff where I'm just gonna sit here quietly and play my I will, I will, games. I will join you in the cis corner. <laughs> yeah. There are times where we just have to go into the cis timeout because they're talking about issues that we can't fucking talk about. Yeah. <laughs> one, one time while Emily and I were to call, um, it was just us two. We were, we were both like, I really fucking love <laughs> And it was like, she gets to be an honorary, honorary trans for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an honorary trans. I'm very honored. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Dickie Ron was right to be worried. They trans there. <laughs> they did it! They got me! They got me and I'm proud! I'm so uh, happy to have been got! <laughs> yeah. Um, it was, it was, yeah, we were just joking around, but seriously, you're wonderful. And <laughs> Thank you. Thank um, you, that's nice and lovely. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I, fuck, I would, I, like, my coming opening would be what it is, though. So. 
Shakespeare. Like, it's just one of those things where I, I have a lot of editing expertise. I've been working in editing for more years than I've been on YouTube. So it's just one of those yeah. things where I'm like, I see a fix. I know how to do it. It's going to be real easy for me to do. Let's get it done. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and it was nice because it, it, like, you you put me in the right direction to go learn those things, right? Yeah. Um, Aww. And that, that was really nice. And then you were nice enough to... Um, so, like, th there's a section in the Kobeo video where I have other non-binary people talking about what being non-binary is, and Lady Knight went and edited all those down into their, It was like, about ten minutes, and I and it was just, like, I knew I could pull out some individual statements from each of them that would have a, have a strong yeah. enough impact without it being a ten-minute section. It was too long, and I, could, I was like, I don't even know where to start trying to cut this, and I was too, like, emotionally attached. <laughs> And I've and I've spent a long time picking apart people's interviews and stuff. Like at my old job, I would literally have to like watch a ten minute interview with like a child who's not particularly comfortable being on camera in the first place. So they're they already have a lot of those like isms. They say um and like too much, and then have to pull it apart to like the one sentence where they're like this thing about this program makes me really happy and makes me feel seen or whatever, you know? And like, that was just my job for like several years. I would watch hours and hours of people's interviews to like pull out the like five second bite that's like the good shit. Um, so yeah, no, I was just like, I know I can do this and do it easily. <laughs> And it's no big, it took me like, what, 10 minutes that I hopped out of voice to do it? <laughs> I was like 10, 20 minutes and then I came back and it was done. And it was done, it was amazing. Um... Aww. So it's just, it's just experience. That's all it is. It's just I, the, the experience to know that I can do this easily and, and it'll be good. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Whatever, we can razz me for my old AMVs. <laughs> Video editing seems like one of those impossibly hard things that I would really love to learn but have no hope of ever mastering. It's honestly, like, I feel like there's certain brains that just take to it really well, and like, honestly, it reminds me of jigsaw puzzles, which are a thing I also really like doing. There's something really satisfying about, like, all these disparate pieces that need to come together, and you kind of know how they need to come together, and it's, and it's just finding that that balance and rhythm that when it's done, in the middle it sucks, but when it's done, it's really rewarding. <laughs> I, I found a lot easier, I think, because of all the time that I've spent um, animating stuff for game projects, um, which also, I don't know any fucking actual animated software, so I just made all my animations in Unity. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> because I know but how Unity to animate in Unity. And then uh, I would export, uh, the, the game is just a single scene that would just play the animation automatically on the feet, right? And then I screen cap that uh, using my stream lapse. And that's how I got my animation. But I'm so fucking happy with how it came out and how it looks. Like I really like your Canadian TARDIS animation. It's very good. Yeah, so I... Uh, Canadian TARDIS? I, I made up a Canadian TARDIS. Do you remember those old, like, Bell, um, Bell phone boots? The, yeah, the gray ones, the blue, yeah, the blue yeah. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I have, to, I have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they they had Nortel phones in them. My parents were Nortel. <laughs> oh, um, I can I can grab the link for you. Uh, yeah, po uh, Aaron, I post your video in chat. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's. I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with my performance in it. It's, 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 I think your performance is really good. I like the way you very dramatically hold an egg. <laughs> okay, yes, there, there's a lot of visual metaphor in it, like, so the <laughs> art bit is actually... This video uh, has metaphor and symbolism, it's art, but also I mean it. <laughs> yeah, no, but, but, but I, I mean, I, I don't think, uh, I don't think art is good if it's just subtle. I, I like to put in as many things as possible to make my point, so like... If I can add a visual thing that makes the point on top of what I'm saying, um, and I can edit it in such a way that reinforces the point, and I can uh, add, you know, uh, other people's voices that magnifies the point, then why wouldn't I? You know, I, I want to yeah. hammer in a purpose and a message, and to do that, I want to say it is 
My approach is to years. exclusively add visual things to make your point, and add so many <laughs> visual <laughs> things it, that I people don't even pay anime. attention. <laughs> and I, I feel so sad for you because, like, like I think there's probably some people who do just like watch videos, but, like don't look, and I'm like, oh my god, what? those people. I get comments from people who literally, like, I got a person who was mad oh about God. spoilers. There was a spoiler alert about a minute beforehand. <laughs> and I had text on like, screen. Yeah, like, very, very heavy and blatant. Yeah. No, um, and, like, I watch videos like that, too, but but it, it there are videos I do not watch like that at all, where there's, like, actual editing and something going on, and two of the channels I very much do not. <laughs> like, I, I have to be, like, I'm going to set aside time to actually watch Yeah. This. Yeah, no, there are definitely people. Um, Yara, yeah. I, I gotta tell Midnight. you, every time you release a video, that is sit down, must mm. pay attention viewing. Oh I might be cross stitching, but yeah, no, I do that for everything. So I'm so <laughs> many. excited to check out more from your channel, Yara. I'm I'm stoked to have more video essay content. Well, to, what was the yeah. what was the outlet that featured the? Lower your expectations before you. No, no, your videos are so good. What was the outlet that um posted your Reefer Madness video as like their best of? Um, Polygon. Polygon, that was it. Ooh. I knew it was a major outlet. I, I love both Polygon. <laughs> Polygon, yeah. Brian David Gilbert fame? Yes, I love yes. Brian David Gilbert so much. Yes. Everybody yes. loves Brian David Gilbert, I, but Yara's video was featured on Polygon. Aww, yeah, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I, Thank you. Wow, a great work. <laughs> I, I need to explain that, like, like, Brian David Gilbert has done things on camera that I have done in my real life before, where I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, he's like me! <laughs> like, like, there's a there's a bit in one of his videos where he where he's like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> my cup is full of Red Bull. I have I'm not kidding. At a game jam with my friends, got up to Dan and yelled Mortal Kombat, sang the fucking song, and then down to Red Bull because I was out of it and we were 37 hours in, and I was just sitting there like, <laughs> how does this person sit? <laughs> I just, I, yeah, no, I, I, I love Brian David Gilbert. I've shown a lot of people the Pokemon rap because I really love, like, his entire lead up as well as just the actual Pokemon rap being as intense as it is. Also, I just want to point out, I'm hurting a monster with Splash Mountain. Just want to point that out. <laughs> if we're, if we're talking BDG, I need to shout out one of my best friends, uh, Mido from Games for Fanfare has a video a video essay on the poker app analyzing like Brian David Gilbert's <laughs> poker app. That's incredible. Video. Okay, that's that's, that's so many levels. I'll, um, I'll throw it in the chat. That is that is in like inception. We gotta go deeper. That's yeah that's yeah, so anyway, meta. To finish explaining the metaphor bit of, of the oh, art. Yes. So uh, in in the first section of the video I make a statement about um, it, you know, uh, perspective is a little bit like a 3D object seen through a 2D photo. You can't really understand it unless you see it from a bunch of different angles. And I'm holding a like like a little plastic TARDIS, and throughout the shot, I'm holding it so you can only see the base. So all it looks like is like a plastic a blue cube. square, a blue square, and then I reveal it's a TARDIS. And then uh, the entire animation that plays is me. during the section where I have um, other non-binary people talking about what being non-binary is to them and everything because it's literally representing what that experience is like for me and that it changed my perspective and then i bring back the statement at the end so i like reference the visual a second time and then i reference the words uh during the like the last section when it's like me presenting as i do um like i'm actually pretty much wearing the same outfit as i'm wearing at the very end of the video when i'm dancing so <laughs> also, also, I recreated um, Elliot Page's uh, I recreated El Elliot Page's dance oh. as Vanya from Umbrella Academy. Yeah, that was really good. Because um, Elliot Page is fucking amazing, and <laughs> yeah, he is. He's great. I, I really little... relate to Vanya as a character, <laughs> so it's like. I'm a little disappointed in Elliot Page because he had the opportunity to be like, Hey everyone, new type of guy just dropped. It's me, he, him, bye. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me tell you about my latest album release, It Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
But but seriously, he's he, and he's been doing like a lot of you know actual active praxis. I mean, years. even before he came out, yeah. uh, like there was that whole documentary series that he did, right? But he also like mm -hmm. fucking marches all the time. He's done he's done stuff in what? England against uh, like turf no. bullshit there. Like he he's been on it for a long time, and so that's why like excitement. yeah, his version whatever. But he actually also uh, Baymax teaches Sora the fist bump. This is really cute. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to point out Sora learns the fist bump from Baymax. I point out Goofy and Donald in the background Another doing one. it. Yep. We're here. Aww, I, they're I cute. Love, I love this game. This game is dumb and I love it. Um, also, man, Gogo is the best. Her purple hair, her fucking wheelie shoes. I am into this woman! I mean, I know she's a cartoon teenager, so like, whatever, I, whatever, I'm ace, I'm not, I just think she's cool. <laughs> same, same, <laughs> for me. <laughs> and the crime fighting team of uh, Hero 6. Yara, Sorry, do you, what? We're unstoppable. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, Yara, do you, you like Big Hero 6 too? Do you? I don't know, oh, yeah. words are getting hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. I do. 100%. <laughs> Yay! That's good, because that's what you're here for. Big Hero 6 I shortly after Big Hero 6 came out, I got this, like, Baymax brush. And I said I got it for my niece, but it was for me. <laughs> oh, I just buy stuff for me, or I just make stuff for me. I have so many crochet toys just living on my desk that I made for myself. I made the one of the wafts from Hilda because they're so cute. They're like these dog tadpole things that fly, and I love oh, them. I love, no, I love Hilda so much. Same. Like the the animated series. Right? I I really want to watch it. I've heard really good things. It's so it's cute. So like, it's it very, it's very like awesome. early Steven Universe in terms of just like it's just a, a sweet vibe. <laughs> There's I'm, not a lot I, of plot. I don't like, like, like Steven, Steven Universe, Universe much. I fucking love uh, oh, Hilda though. Hilda's amazing. I love I'm, Steven I'm Universe, but I'm more comparing it to the I'm early fast. stuff before they got plot heavy. <laughs> it's I'm just currently a doing a uh, rewatch of one, Adventure one. Time. My wife's never. Seen huh? Her. Mm. Yeah. It's delightful. Oh, right. I can't really, I've watched a lot of Adventure Time, but I have a hard time with the humor of Adventure Time. It's a little too out there for me and a little too fast paced. I like when it's serious though. Honestly, when Adventure Time gets sad, that's my shit. <laughs> it's so good when it gets sad. Okay, why do you like being sad so much? I don't know, I have problems. <laughs> Sometimes real life is hard and you need to emote through your media. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. This is, this is exactly what most of our calls are like. Honestly, it is. This it, is. This is what I am. Like. I am drastically calmer than usual. Yeah. Uh, Aranox being a, a big grown up right now, so that I can be a dumb idiot who screams at my sword I'm, son. I'm, I'm also trying not to embarrass myself in front of a bunch of people I respect. <laughs> Aww. You should not respect me. <laughs> oh my god, I... Noah! <laughs> Too bad! I should, I should be clear. What? Noah, before this, I respected your work. I knew nothing of you as a person, and, uh, I don't, I don't... I don't <laughs> no, but, like, like, okay, get, speak to this. I just don't approach... Prayer. Like, to me, you know, what you make is a separate thing. Yes, and that you is never very really good. know what someone. Wait, no, but like, because uh, that uh, like so as as a coach, I was also I'm also certified for coach training and stuff. I, I've done a lot of training for um, ethics courses. I Microbots? am literally certified for training Microbots? other coaches on ethics and things. You and so a lot of that are? is about relationship dynamics and appropriate relationship well, dynamics and being able to separate from relationships into healthy boxes where you don't do you know harmful shit. You and <laughs> that's hard. There is a lot of. Uh, of pitfalls in the way that people They're interact kind of online. Um, but you throw on the fact that Some I, like, I specialized in AI and machine learning. I know a lot totally about the code and things behind these things, and, and I know but a lot about the other space that I specialize in this game theory. Um, not the bullshit that business econ people them. think is game theory because they oversimplify and they don't understand 90% of the fucking field. It's annoying. Um, not everybody has the same motivations. 
wild concept, I know, I'm but you can't treat everybody like they have the same motivations. Like, sure. you literally go against a fundamental aspect of game theory by saying that. It's so annoying. I <laughs> find it economy so annoying. <laughs> anyway, um, but but a lot of it has helped me to really understand the way that, that platforms right, um, gamify interaction into really unhealthy Sora, ways. Donald, and so, for me, I try to really I heavily separate um, when I get to talk to someone who has created work that Thanks, I enjoy, Max. That like We're in that is hands. like they have made something cool, but they're not the thing Come they have on. made. Even if Let's it move. is like really heavily interconnected with who they are, you know, mm -hmm. um, I, it's it's what shedding, it's off? acknowledging the unfortunate reality of parasocial relationships and trying to distance yourself from that. Yeah, it's really so interesting because I've thought a lot about at least when it comes to my own channel. There's this thing of like wanting to be heard but not wanting mm. to be seen it's this sort of yes. thing of like the separation oh, I... of like the voice and the ideas that i'm putting out and they do reflect on me but also that doesn't mean that people know me <laughs> I, I always i always put it as the difference between polyphonic and noah right mm. yeah well, and i i'm just kind of in a weird space because like in a stream sense it is a little bit more like because you're not controlling how people see you as much. You yeah, no, it's harder It's harder to curate um, when you're live. <laughs> and and seeing as most of my content direction has been on streams and things, but um, but it also, because of the nature of like Twitch and the way that stuff works, it's like a lot of the streamers I like I've gotten to be on streams with and talk to, and, and I've gotten to talk to a lot of YouTubers and things whose work I enjoy, and I just... Um, I, I don't know, I just, I'm like... I think it's fucking weird to act like you know anything about this person until they have yeah. said it to you in a conversation. And so for me, a lot of times it's like, when I am first talking with someone, it's like, I have never met you before. I know fuck all about you until we've talked, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. even if I have That's seen- That's a good approach. Deeply personal content. And like, so with both LK and Emily, right? I've seen most, if not all of their videos before I talked to them. <laughs> but like, I don't know, I think okay, you can speak of this. At no point was I being a fucking weird ding dong. No, we were just having I fun can't. and it was late and we were being stupid and I said under bundor munder. Scorsese. Yeah, Martin Scorsese. I think something that's really interest with it, interesting with this and something that's why it's what the fuck is going on? Um, there are things called attraction uh, fights. It's basically Disney rides and I'm beating them up with a magic carousel. Go on, don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, uh, but I, why, why I think that Aranox approach is really good is I think a lot of the time, um, when people look at a creator and try to get a sense of who that creator is, they're actually looking at several, like, like basically different people across the entirety of their creative career. Like, I am a fundamentally different person with different values than when I first started Polyphonic. So for someone yeah. to, like, be a fan of some of my older videos and, uh, like, think that's who I am and the music I'm, I'm into and what where my values lie, it's always very it's always very frustrating to me. So I, I really appreciate your approach. Well, I think what you're touching on is, is what I'd like to call, um crystallization of personality in a video like the person you know fuck we change so much I, I think a lot of people don't acknowledge how much people change over time you know yeah um and so to me i'm like why like why the fuck would i presume to know someone because i saw something they made seven months ago two years ago three years ago four years ago you know like that's not that, I think this is that's a special of them that they I, I, put out. You know? I, th I think the people changing over time is especially true of people who have, like, having a public persona forces you to change in some ways. Like, there's there's a real kind of, I, 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 I found at least, I mean, I don't know if this is universal, but, like, after my channel kind of took off and became my job and stuff like that, there's... A lot of things about my value system that changed, hopefully for the better. I hope I'm always changing for the yeah. better. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's definitely a thing where like, I, it, 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 it bothers the hell out of me that my most popular video is my like fourth video I ever made. And that thing will be my fucking legacy. I hate it. <laughs> yeah. 
Aww. Actually, I think um, even smaller sense, like where I'm at, because you know, uh, I have a weird interaction with things. Like I've been on streams where I have ten thousand people watching, and I've been, you know, on my own streams where I have ten people watching. And but but what I found is that um, content creation makes you incredibly, at least in in the ideal situation, uh, incredibly self uh, self examining. You know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, because you're constantly thinking about how you are talking and what you're talking about and trying to make sure that you're representing things in the best way possible. And in so doing, you're constantly questioning your own beliefs and values and uh, hopefully improving them. Um, I think there are there are creators that completely skirt that, but uh, they also tend to A, encourage a type of horrible parasocial interaction mm -hmm. and have a very large ego. And they tend to be the ones where actually, yeah, you know what? The way they were two years ago is the exact same fucking way they are right now, and it's real noticeable. I don't <laughs> yeah. know. I've just, my I experience with interacting that. with creators, a lot of it came from like, I mean, I used to go to conventions where I'd like to yeah. go up to a person. But then for a while, I worked a lot with this theater, and a lot of these people that I was getting really excited, it was because like they were not actors that you would have heard of, but they were still doing something really amazing at this theater. And yeah. I just, yeah. I learned very quickly because I would go to a lot of these cast parties. And it would be like, okay, I don't want to be weird, but I just want to say they were very good. And I feel like it was just this mm. removing expectation from the interaction. Like, my expectation was I was going to say, thank you for your what you did, I liked it. And that and whatever they say in response doesn't really matter because it could be they could be drunk, they could be just like distracted or in the middle of a conversation, or they could be like, oh thank you so much, and we could have a real it's conversation and it ran the Why gamut. It? But it just I, I found that removing expectation girl. from that interaction oh, really do. helped. I, I'll make it further. Um this is why I only compliment when I talk to other creators, I only compliment their work. Unless yeah. I know them personally, yeah. I only compliment their work because this that's the only thing I know. I know their work. Yeah, I, I think it's them. so I don't go like, I, "Oh, you're fucking amazing, and I love everything you do." I go, "Oh, you know, I really yeah. like this video that but you made. Here's why. Escaped. I really like this piece of work that you've you done. Um, I really appreciate the way that you talk about these uh, things." But I think it's really interesting because whenever people compliment my work, video to video. I will receive the compliment very differently depending on which video they choose to compliment. Like, which one they choose to bring up and be like, oh, I really like that video. I'm like, oh, okay, so you get what I'm trying to do. I like, haven't oh, been I around liked... long enough to feel differently about different videos, I guess. Because, like, right now, it's mostly it's just the it's the tone of individual comments that I, like, people, I don't know. <laughs> the person who commented on the JoJo video to sing Germany won in a way and copy-paste the entire lyrics to Sarah McLaughlin's I Will Remember You. I don't think that I person understood what I was doing. Like, <laughs> here's, here's the Lady Knight, the I, we've hit $3,500. Why don't I read one of the other... A cool name. One of the shorter ones? Um, one that isn't Radar being a furry? Can I quickly just say that, Lady Knight, I really admire your absolutely we'll ruthlessly dunk on commenters on Twitter all of the time. <laughs> I think oh, it's yeah. really admirable. <laughs> I mean, I just, I cover people's names unless I truly despise what they say, because I usually feel like the, 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 the like, group, the pylon doesn't really accomplish anything, so I'll block out people's names, but I do kind of hope that I'm just, like, teaching by example, like, don't be this person, and also don't be that person. Yeah. If nothing else, you're providing me with a lot of entertainment, so you're, you're in the world. <laughs> I'm gonna do the, uh, uh, I have a great interest in World War II one. We trust you. Oh, God. So you trust Yes, us. go forth. So you can air. guess which video this was on. <laughs> are, are you gonna <laughs> read it in the voice? Yeah, no, that's what, um, earlier I air- <laughs> I, did, I did evil David Tennant for the other- <laughs> Yeah, earlier, uh, I, uh, Aranok read out this really lengthy comment I got on a MASH video, which is one of the greatest comments I've ever received. It's completely insane. They talk about how Henry and Trapper were swingers and Radar's a furry. Radar's <laughs> really a furry. Sleeps with a teddy bear. <laughs> um, this is canon. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. So I'll it's edit insane. more when I finish. I just want to say I have a great interest in World War II because of my family who fought. Who actually fought on both sides. Germany asked and some of my family left to answer the call. When Pearl Harbor was bombed, more family answered the call. The, the a thing of confliction for me. 
I think World War II in general is fading from what it was. Let us not forget the men and women who gave their lives for their countries. Regardless He's of all lives died, mattering the Holocaust. I just want to make SS this clear. SA, they can rot in hell. I don't agree with the righteous Gentile stories. I agree that they undermine the gravity of the situation. Every single human is a complex being with their own motives or lack thereof. I think I'll end this here for now. The horror is unimaginable. Let us remember everyone who came our scared and those who never came home. Warrior child, wife or husband, brother or sister, friend or foe, let us not forget for the sake of all of us and the future generations. This man... Just, all lives matters. That, the Holocaust. All lives matter. <laughs> when you read that in that accent, it sounds like something out of a Coen Brothers movie in the best way possible. <laughs> that oh is my a god! Huge fucking compliment. Thank you. <laughs> um, oh, oh. Uh, another good one is. Uh, Fred, you okay? Uh, is um. Great review, but I have a serious question. Can men just not be friends of film anymore? <laughs> I'll be thrown through a woke prism. <laughs> That's the entire comment. And it is Why can't terrible. men just be friends of film anymore? These, I, these are the real questions. Prism. We have to answer woke these questions. I really Why want to throw everything. Why can't we be friends of film anymore? Prism. Everything's in the way. <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, th th this one's amazing. It's it's the uh, the Lord of the Rings one, and then the person who responded with as everything. Okay. Right okay. So I should be clear. I should be clear. I think this actually was on one of Sage's old videos. I had commented, um, just that I that he he. I, if I remember correctly, it was about the Hobbit video. It was about the Hobbit movies being bad, and they contrasted a lot with the Lord of the Rings. And so basically, they they talked a bit about the stairs scene and more and how they didn't really see what it added necessarily to a lengthy action sequence. And I just commented being like, I, I, I think it affirms a lot of um, like the interrelationship dynamics between the fellowship and I'm a fan, but that's yeah. it. And then it, it, it got a lot of replies. I actually finally deleted the comment because I was sick of mm. getting reply notifications. <laughs> but um, this is one of the replies to that. So this isn't on one of my videos. Yeah, but... All right. This is incredible. So I'm just uh, finishing about a food because it takes me like hours to eat food. <laughs> While oh. you finish your food, can we shout out Trans Lifeline and ask oh, for hey. donations yes. in the chat? Yeah, everybody, if you donate five hundred dollars, then um, I'm gonna read fanfic, and Polyphonic is gonna share two incredible Ringo Bingo movie posters. posters. Recently unearthed. Recently yeah, unearthed. recently okay. unearthed Ringo Bingo posters. Okay, right, here we go. Uh, what, what voice do I want for this? Ben Shapiro? Like no, Jordan I Peterson, Ben Shapiro? Peterson. I, I love this fan voice of Lord of the Rings. Just the movie, not the book. Why the big bad evil is just a big bad evil? Why Saruman or Soroman or Soromantic is a joke? And using trees to make more jokes. And that ride with me thing. Just ride a horse from the enemy's sword and toss them around. Shadow Fang? Another joke. Hey, Shadow Fang, can you be a shadow fart? Or another random horse in multiple places while multiple people riding you? Lol, the most powerful baddie knife by a hobbit and no man telling you. I'm no man, I'm alien. And that gay love story thing, borrow me something the tall, is actually dead because it's such a mess, this comment. There's no punctuation, a it's lot of wild. caps lock. There's a bunch of like, like exclamation points and like weird commas and like dot dot dots, but is <sighs> it, actually dead because he was the only one in the one normal human in Lord of the Rings. Aragon, son of the Durago, son of the dragon of the bitch and the other ring's power. Another joke. Just cut your enemy's fingers then, Nazgul. <laughs> oh yeah. Just stay back and keep screaming. Make crying. Thank you so much. Witch of the forest. Who can see your future? Past and can't see you in now moment. She is so badass, but she must run away? What? Don't make me start with the wizard and that mammoth killer. Or that complete joke, the mighty dwarf, son of another dwarf. Oh. Am I breaking the and rules? Then, is that what I'm supposed to do? Someone just responded with, is everything all right at home, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I I cannot tell you what 
any of those words mean. I have yeah. no clue what the fuck is going on. Yeah. It's yeah. okay, neither did he. I know. <laughs> I, I can't I mean, break the flagpole, by the way. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, but I can't break the flagpoles. I can't hit them. I can only hit these things that keep coming back. I think I'm supposed to defeat all of them at once, and I'm not doing it fast enough. I might go and run and do one of the other ones first, because this is... I'm just running in circles doing the same thing. And it's what not... is this? What is this creepy evil cube? Um, so he's made of basically heartless version of you. Remember the little nanobots in Big Hero 6? Yes, vaguely. It's those. It's those. It's just I... those, but like heartless or something. Don't worry about it. I just realized. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna that, run and go help somebody else because this is taking banana... forever. The nanites in Big Hero 6. The nanites in Big Hero 6 now canonically have hearts. Eh? I'm just bullshitting. I don't actually remember what the justification was for why they're like evil, <laughs> but they're bad. It's probably just because they're being controlled by like Organization 13 and shit. But I don't know. I, I bet that what's his face, um, the 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 villain from the movie is like a heartless right now or something. No, actually he's not. You don't What's see him, he doesn't show up. But oh, what you do see... Oh, yeah, okay. this is after the movie. But who you do see is... um. So there's another Riku. Even though we've had a, a Repliku... There's a Replica Riku that exists and it's called Repliku. That one has happened already. But... um, it, I don't know. But there's another Riku and he's bad. And it's a clone of Riku. And Sora has a minute of being like, Wait a minute, my best friend once was like bad, but I know this isn't him because my oh, friend's a good boy now. <laughs> my friend, he's a good boy. I won't wait you in a minute. Um, Sora, there we go. My friend, he's a good boy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I can't explain it beyond that, but for some reason the nanites are bad. Oh, I just remembered a, a funny voice I could do with the most cursed voice. <laughs> So well, I, I think we've run through all the comments that we have anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just a, a quick bit, but I, I was hanging with Alice and uh, Alice Quid Rose, and and uh, and I was doing like voices, and she was like, "Well, the mark of like really knowing a voice is being able to like apply modifiers to the voice, you know." Uh, and I was just going through Sonic voice and kept making me do different versions, and so um, <laughs> oh so to do any of the other ones, I have to do Sonic first. But uh, my personal favorite was Sonic pretending to be Shadow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go fast. I'm totally shadow. I'm so edgy. <laughs> I'm the perfect life form. <laughs> I don't want to sound like that. Just like... <laughs> God damn. We're evil and bad, and I'm totally that. Definitely. <laughs> oh my uh. god. Sonic? Um, October oh, Oddity cool. just shared a uh, status from Doodle Fox. Is this the fan art again, or is something new? Is this one. something it's new? I'll check. It's the same one. Okay. Oh, the same one. But thank you for sharing. It is a beautiful fan art that Doodle Fox did. I am in love. <laughs> it's a fan art of Ringo Bingo, if you haven't seen it, uh, Yara and Noah. <laughs> also, I, I, just realized I just your names it. rhyme. <laughs> what a handsome face. <laughs> beautiful. He's a beautiful man. He was. Now he's a beautiful so skeleton. Yeah, honestly, also. But, uh, where are we going right now? Space Panini, if you also want to draw Ringo Bingo, please feel free to. Oh, gosh. That'd be amazing. I would like a portrait of Bingo specifically in his red here. Well, well we, have... we don't have. <laughs> don't... But the thing is, his red period was still when he was making black and white films. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It just is. I just think it's really funny to say that he experimented with color a lot in his black and white films. He really, he really like had a unique exploration of color in his black and white films. And um, <laughs> but it's not the most. Per whoa, whoa! What why, happened? Why, why did I hear? Uh, why did I hear that? Oh, I don't I know. know. What just I happened? Know what happened? Nice. Uh, Cause you know how I was setting up the uh, the thing. Um, I forgot that I have the uh, alert box. The last person who I was host. Oh. And the alert box just gave me a. Uh, <laughs> the, 
for my friend's channel. Uh, it has a sound attached to it that is a, a sound clip of fucking Alex Jones. What the fuck? It's a joke. Uh, so oh, my God. brain heard it and I was like, ah! <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Where did that come from? Um, it, it's the, what do I do, Lord? Destroy the child. <laughs> <laughs> also, we're still trying to raise $500 and then I'm going to read um, a short fanfic I wrote for The Haunting of Hill House because I wrote a couple of one shots for Haunting of Hill House. They are sad and poetical and I had <laughs> I had a lot of fun writing them because I just wanted the, the show gave closure but I wanted more closure because <laughs> I was sad. <laughs> That's the basis for most of my fanfics is just I'm sad. Do you write uh, like fiction outside of fanfic? Um, I haven't in a while. I used to, I was, so for many, many years, I was trying to write, like, a fantasy novel. I Honestly, I was writing it for, like, ten years, and I just kept changing, like, something so yeah. central to its premise that I had to start again. I have written and screenplay that I'm happy with and I'm working on. Um, actually, Hello Future Me gave me some really good notes that I'm oh, still cool. working on incorporating. But um, I did talk to Aranok about it, and I did tell them... I think the final line of the script and and them and Alice Quinn Rose, I believe, just were like, oh my god, you just ripped out my heart with this final line. Wait, uh, when, 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 when This was Superpower Anxiety. This was the, that one. Uh, Is this ringing a bell? It had uh, Ellie and Nadia and high school stuff. I'm trying to be vague. Oh, that one. <laughs> oh, oh, that one is good. Oh, oh, yes. I want that movie to be made. <laughs> <It's> really bad. <laughs> One also, day, uh, maybe. A, a friend just, just. Uh, so I, I have a Destiny client that I run, and uh, that's the people I usually stream stuff with. They have about the same amount of chaotic energy as like the Chaos Twins. <laughs> like mm -hmm. <laughs> the other night while I was editing, it was Wednesday night. I'm editing late at the night, and I just joined in the call, and they're all playing Valheim, and it, it is the most What's bonkers, like, voice call. But it's nice, everybody's very respectful of each other, like, we make sure only one person makes <laughs> one time, but it's just like, they all just say the most ridiculous stuff, and then Houston, with just the utmost sincerity, screams, Oh! Fuck my meat! <laughs> <laughs> and we're all like, what the fuck are you talking about, Houston? We're dying laughing. He, they're playing Valheim, he burnt the fucking meat he was cooking, but it's just, the way he said it was like, <laughs> So, my best, one of my besties, the, the Eight, who hasn't I, been on yet, but um, she'll just like randomly go, "Ow, my bones!" <laughs> and it's very good every time. So if you look at voice text, someone just posted in our random chips or uh, text chat the this picture from Stargate SG One, but it's Airman, take them to the horny break. <laughs> <gasps> I love Stargate SG-1 so I love much! So much! Not enough people respect SG-1. There is potentially a Stargate video on the horizon. I haven't written anything, and it requires me to buy 10 seasons of show. But, like, it's on the brain. I am thinking I, about it. If you ever make that, I want to I wanna assist in some way. <laughs> I will let you know if I need uh, art or some shit. I don't know. If I can do it... Ooh, can I, oh, can, I do an can I do an opening animation of like the Stargate? No. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I like audit. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. But usually, so like the artist friend that I've commissioned for a couple doodles, it's usually like when I'm writing the video, I come up with something really stupid, like Mark Zuckerberg with a cake slice coming out of him because eat the rich, like that kind of dumb shit. Um, will just come to me in the moment, and then I will, like, Anytime reach out. Anytime Eat the Rich, I instantly think of my, uh, my buddy Mittner's song, Eat the Rich, <laughs> which is amazing and hilarious. He writes a bunch of really good music. He also has nice. one that's called Cops Are Bad that, that is a phenomenal piece. <laughs> awesome. But yeah, no, like, literally, it was just, as I was, as I'm writing these outlines, I'll come up with a stupid joke that I need, like, a doodle for. So, I don't know until I write anything, but, like, it's on the brain. I will say that. I am thinking about it. I have thoughts. And also, I love Daniel Jackson. I love Daniel Jackson so much. Oh, I love my boy. My so my chaos boy who can't keep a wife 
or lover. Good God. <laughs> he, he's and, and he can't I, stay alive either. He dies so much. My, Michael Jackson, uh, uh, not Michael Jackson. Why did I say that? Daniel I, Jackson Michael played Shanks, by I, Michael Shanks. Yeah, my brain combined both of them because I'm really bad at names. But Daniel Jackson is the uh, is the uh, Miles O'Brien of. <laughs> well, honestly, what's Stargate. really funny is he looks. In his design, and honestly, backstory, he's basically just Milo from Atlantis. He really is, and it's great, and I love it. Yeah, like, his backstory is just sort of like all of Atlantis. That's it. Also, it's... fucking Go-Go! Stop! Get back here! Maybe Fuck! Or something? I don't know. I'm just... She won't stop rolling! Go-Go, stop! Rollin, rollin, rollin. Fucking oh, go go! Back up, push to talk. Uh, try jump dashing or using the buildings, maybe. No, I, it, it's it's a whatever. I I just like it's I, like we're we're going, we're going. It's happening. Okay. Now we're here. God damn. <laughs> Shut up, Donald. I don't need your input right now. <laughs> Well, I think you're doing great. Thanks. I can I'm never doing think my darndest. One thing this long. God damn it! It's not even Go Go. It's just the fucking nanobots rolling, rolling, rolling her, because all of them are sort of like all of them are captured by something that has to do with their like skill ability. So like Go Go has wheels, so she roll. Uh, Honey Lemon was all like trapped by like science chemical shit. I don't really know what Wasabi's thing is other than brute force, and I just had to hit the nanobots a lot. I don't know. Oh, hi, Levi. Sorry, oh, there's someone in chat who's leaving. Um, too shy to talk in Twitch, but he was the enemy. Cool. I think he was one of the Anon donors. Uh, oh, well, thank you. Have a good night. Did it again to try and write things. No, I'm sorry. I'm just like, I'm just trying to fucking go, go! Stop! Ah! This is, again, this is what it was like when I was playing Last of Us 2 on Discord with my friends, and there was just like a solid hour where like we were talking and having a good conversation, and then randomly I would be like, Abby, 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 run, Abby, 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 Abby! <laughs> <laughs> Last of Us 2 is really hard! <laughs> God damn it! I love Abby. God damn it! I love Abby too, but also Gogo, would you stop? I still have to do one more! Why are you like this? <laughs> stop! She come back help. here! I know she can't, but come back here! Stop! Hey, um, Trans Lifeline's in chat right now. Oh, oh hey! Hi! Thanks. I'll go bring him in. Um, cool. Thank you. In, in Twitch. Ah, yes. Okay. Well, hello, Trans Lifeline. How are you? Okay. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Such amazing progress in the last 13 hours. Thank you. We're trying. We're trying. <laughs> I'm very trying. Every adult has told me this my whole life. Oh, I try. I try all the time. Um. The person who's playing Last of Us 2 on Grounded, you are stronger than I will ever be. Yeah. For the record, cool. trying is cool. Not not trying is highly over. Not trying Aww. is for wieners! Okay, now we're back to this, and I'm really quickly gonna Google what I need to do for this guy. <laughs> Hang on, because I genuinely don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Uh, Fred, Big Hero 6, Kingdom Hearts. Oh, Rescue Fred, thank you, Google. You know me. Uh, how do you say Fred in Big Hero 6? I gotta watch a video, apparently. Fuck off. Fine. <laughs> just give me one second. <laughs> I just, I just, I don't know, and I don't have a lot of time to fuck around and figure it out. <laughs> okay. Just, okay. Oh, um, oh. do you mind if I, uh, if I at you, Noah? On Twitter? No, not at all. Nope. By all means. Awesome. I also think we just got a, a new donation in. H have we read off the uh, donations in a while? Please go take a look. Uh, we'll Please see go if take a look. Is this what I need to do? Okay. 
So, uh, $20 from None Allowed. Uh, big fan, love the cause. On an unrelated note, does WandaVision remind anyone else of that uh, real key quote? I don't know what that means. Are you talking about the let everything happen to you? Not a, nothing is, no feeling is final? That's probably the quote, because that's the one I, I, I had in the JoJo video. So? Um, that's the Raina Ramirez. And I can't before that was just right Noah now. saying release the bingo cut with $30. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Noah. <laughs> um, to answer your question about WandaVision, maybe. Um, I will say I kind of wish that the big bad was just grief instead of actual big bads. And there are now multiple big bads. So what, like, what, what annoys me is yeah. that Wanda in comics has been her own big bad before. Yeah. Because if she gets emotional, her powers just activate to a certain degree. So, like, grief has literally caused her, like, to nearly end the world one time. Like... Also, they're cowards, and they haven't made her Jewish or Romani. We saw her parents in the most recent episode. And, I mean, I don't know enough about Romani stuff, so maybe there was some, like, subtle hinting at that heritage, but I didn't pick up on anything. Definitely didn't pick up on anything Jewish. So, parents she grew up with. Uh, she had some connection to Romani heritage when she was growing up. She so grew- some people told me that she was raised by Romani people and they didn't, and that they, she didn't learn about Magneto until much later. Um, it depends the comics. There are some yeah, it- comics where her mother like uh, left the twins with other Romani people. Somewhere she didn't. Um, There's, but the, one the, consistency is Magneto was not involved until they were much older. But then they do learn about their Jewish heritage, and it does. Come also, up. I'm being I'm being vague. Well, okay. I said there are big bads, and I said we see your parents. But there's a lot more detail that I'm not saying shit about. Okay. That like there's a lot of detail on the show that we haven't talked about. Trust me, that is not a I ton. But I won't say any more. Kind of what I expected them to do. It's 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 complaining that they it's, didn't do something unexpected. <laughs> I, I I'm like really enjoying the parts of Wandavision that don't feel like MCU, and really yeah. not enjoying the parts that feel like MCU. God yes. <laughs> Mostly, I just really like Kat Dennings. So when she showed up on the show, oh my I God. was very happy. <laughs> I am so I am terminally gay for Kat Dennings. Same thing, and I'd just be down for it. Like, yes, yeah. same. You'd be like, "Hey, you want to walk 500 miles until our feet bleed?" And I'd be like, "Sure." <laughs> weird request, Cat Denny. I don't even know you, but yeah, let's go. I think I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, and it's still. I don't know why this isn't going. Go at a certain speed or something. I well, I can't go faster. Uh, so pro- like, I'm just. Uh, like, hey, we need- what? Yeah, I don't. It's weird. Hey, hang on, hang on, just hang on, hang on. I really like how, like, all your nope. friends, like, Baymax and Donald and Goofy are just, like, following, following you and me not doing and not doing anything! Thing. Fuck all! <laughs> Ugh! Those you are the same two out. assholes who just watched a man die earlier. Why are we Yeah, surprised? they did. Donald did not cast cure on the dying man. Yeah, he watched him die and was like, Yeah, he did. You mean. Oh, there's Make someone in my the, voice, will ya? Someone in the calm in chat is saying to flow motion the pole. Um, what the f- I, s- I s- Okay. Wait, so, wait, what, what, because I tried flow motioning earlier and I just spun. <laughs> um, I mean, I could try again, but like, whoa. They said jump and square into the pole. Uh... Jump and oh. square to dash into oh. the pole and spin around. Okay, okay, it worked. Thank you. Thank you. Yay, crap. Uh, way to go, chat. Thank, Thank you, you Exalt. And we've also gotten a couple more donations in, I think. Oh, yeah. so we have. Yeah, yeah, a few good I'm ones. Okay, I'm gonna go read them. Crowdsourcing. Uh, where is it? So okay. we're, we're doubly proud of you, um, chat. We're, we're proud of uh, you for giving some money, and we're proud of you because I don't need to watch lady run around that fucking orb again uh, so. that was my friend exalt thank you so. you are you are my friend even if you occasionally say filth in the chat that is unforgivable <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> the greatest thing i've heard all day an- anonymous with 30 dollars with a bunch of hearts and then none allowed with 20 dollars gosh making me donate again to clarify the quote how dare you slash s uh 
We need in love to practice only this, letting each other go. Which is a line that JoJo said in the movie. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. Yeah, it's it's actually so he says that line when he's kind of um like uh punking Elsa. <laughs> he like goes to the library and looks up Rainer R R Maria Rilke poetry to punk Elsa, and then it makes her genuinely sad. And he goes, "Oh no, I didn't think this through." <laughs> Because Jojo is an idiot, but a good sweet boy. <laughs> he just unfortunately Aww. learned some bad shit, but he's getting over it. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go right now. Uh, head to where all the dark cubes are converging. Where's that game? <sighs> Anything? Oh! Oh! Hey, Harker, hello. welcome back. Hello, hello, hello! I had dinner and a lot more energy. <laughs> Yay! Actually, since you're back right now, um, I'm gonna just really quickly go do some human body things. I'm gonna be back in like five minutes. <laughs> okay, we can hold on the fort Entertain for you later on. while I'm gone. Inmates running the I asylum. Need to clear all these coffee cans <laughs> on my desk. Bye. He has a newborn. <laughs> so, folks, how yeah. about that amazing trans lifeline charity that you should all be donating to? How about have Trans we... Lifeline? Absolutely. <laughs> and have we heard about Trans Lifeline? What, tell me about Trans Lifeline, no? I have trans a personal life... Trans Lifeline story if anyone wants to hear. Oh, yeah. Yes, Let's hear that. They That's way better than me. anything I'll say. So about a year ago, uh, a little more than a year ago, I found out that I was intersex and that my parents had been hiding it from me for my entire life. And that explained like a lot of hormone problems I've had for the last 10 years of adulthood. And Fuck. when I was trying to find evidence of uh, surgery being done against my will when I was a kid, they none of the doctors involved wanted to give up the records. And I contacted a few like intersex specific charities to see if they could help or if they had any lawyers I could get in contact with. But it was a friend who worked for Trans Lifeline who got me in contact with one of their lawyers and was like, here, just send them this paperwork. It'll scare them and they'll give you your paperwork. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah. it's so good. Feel it, but I... Um... I invite you to the server for uh, the charity stream that I've helped with in the past for intersex specific issues. There's a lot of really cool intersex people in there that might want to meet and chat with them. Heck yeah. Oh, See, the thing about my particular brand of intersexuality uh, is that it's the most boring kind. <laughs> it's just like an endocrine insensitivity. My body just does not want to absorb testosterone, so that's the gist yeah. of my problems. Yeah, oh, right. Uh, Which, for the record, I started part of my treatment is taking a little bit of synthetic testosterone. And uh, every time I put it on, because I have the um, the gel, I, I squeeze it into my hand and I, like, I'll like i walk through the house and find my roommate. And as soon as I lock eyes with her, I'm like, it's boy goop time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, but just, just, they're, just they're, so we pass it across to, just so we pass it across to everyone here in the chat. Uh, Trans Lifeline, which is the group that we are raising funds for, is a grassroots hotline and microgrants 501c3 nonprofit organization, which offers to uh, trans people in crisis direct emotional and financial support. And sometimes it's just really... confused intersex people. <laughs> and confused intersex people as well. What a fantastic uh, side benefit. Um, you can find out more at translifeline.org. Uh, it's the only service of its kind where all operators are trans. They offer peer support in English and Spanish, and they never involve police or medical services unless the caller asks them to. That's a really vital mm. component for support services. You mm -hmm. don't want to call them up I and have then have charge. the cops come. Yeah, because uh, they shoot first, ask questions later. Exactly. But also, they offer a microgrant program, which offers direct oh, financial trans support to trans people. Yeah. Uh, it uh, d direct financial support to trans people to help legally change their name and gender. In addition to specialized services for trans people who are detained by ICE or otherwise imprisoned. 
And apparently, they will also help you draft a bunch of legal documentation to send off to your doctors to force them to give you your medical records. I'm going to bring Bree in for about five minutes. Uh, oh, yeah. Rep from Translifeline. So. Yeah, cool. yeah, 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 do it. But without a Hi, Bree. Yeah, we'd just Bri. be wasting our time. Hey, 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 hey. hey. We're doing this again. Yeah, we. I was so happy to be here at the beginning and just wanted to check in real fast at the halfway point. And oh my gosh, y'all are doing great. And thank you so much for also like sharing your story about how um, our staff were able to be helpful and offer support. I think that's so much of what we do is just kind of like meet people where they're at kind of on whatever issue they're facing and provide support as Black peers out. and you He's know back. we have mm-hmm. like are you done messing around? there are so many different what? types of trans people right Wait. because trans people that live at the so intersection cool. of all you identities um right so we have like and intersex people working cool. online we have like Definitely trans people of color we have trans jews trans romanis trans like funny every 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 type and you know people are just there to offer support from their own experiences to people who call in so yeah just really wanted to shout out appreciation for sharing your personal story oh thank you it was i was very lucky that i happened to know somebody because i never would have thought to reach out to trans lifeline about an intersex issue but it makes sense you know these are lawyers who have a lot of experience um talking to doctors in an authoritative way <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and thank you again Bree, for all the work that you do to yeah, help and support you. trans people working for trans yeah. lifeline thank you yeah. for doing all of that for people Does that mean so rad so good um pocket uh, pat rocket yeah. adrift has pointed out one of the other really useful ways that places like Trans Lifeline can help out. Information on how to get hormones as a trans person is hard to find in Canada. So any help is great. Is that something that Trans Lifeline can help out with? Yeah, so, you know, we make lots of referrals for calls, like some, like you, so we meet people where they're at. So if a caller is like, hey, can you help me find information on how to get hormones, like our our folks will um, sometimes, if multiple operators are on, they'll just kind of like talk to each other on Slack and we'll crowdsource information. We keep some lists. We also like know where to go on the internet for information information because we get these requests a lot. Uh, One day we hope to have a more comprehensive database to be able to just pull from ourselves, but in the meantime, like, yeah, we help people find all types of information about how to... The systems are changing so often that I imagine a database would be really hard to put together, but Pocket uh, pocket Adrift, it sounds like your best uh, thing to do right now, if, if you need help with that, would be to, at your earliest convenience, reach out to Trans Lifeline and it sounds like one of their operators might be able to help get you set up to find hormones in Canada. That's really yeah, cool. I, I would, it I looks would like, is the phone number for... Go ahead. What? I, I was just going to say that um, for those of you who are in chat, you might not be uh, trans, but you might know someone who is, and you might have a friend who's trans, and I think that that's something to, that yeah. that you can really help make uh, help make other people's life aware of organizations like this as well even if it might not directly affect you chances are you probably know somebody who could benefit from knowing that these kinds of resources exist also how do you know you're not trans have you really gone through the questioning phase <laughs> you might be trans. um <laughs> but it's also also very i uh i just want to compliment your organization on your website uh i was a software engineer my company is a bunch of award-winning websites and shit, so I, I don't say that stuff lightly. Uh, it is a really well designed and I'm impressed with your UI. Oh my god. Oh my god. So my my role in the organization is I oversee comms and uh, fundraising, like communications and fundraising is what I do. And we just redesigned our website like a few months ago and it was such a massive project and I'm gonna share that oh my goodness. with the team. <laughs> Um, I also really wanted to say in terms of like if you have a trans friend and like you want to know how to better support them we actually have a callback service for cis people who have trans loved ones family and friends you know 
those types of folks um, where if you want to know how to better support like a trans person in your life going through something hard you can like call into the line when you you may not get through the first time if so just like call back and then when you get an operator that person will be trans but you can be like hey i'm a cis person i want to better support a trans loved one who's maybe struggling right now and um another cis person who has the experience of supporting um trans people in their life will eventually give you a call back to have that conversation that's incredible oh, that's so good that's phenomenal. <laughs> and and it's all built on the principles of peer support community not cops harm, reju- harm reduction confidentiality and anonymity structural not pathological uh, approaches informed consent dismantling white supremacy financial redistribution equity not quality autonomy and self-determination is that right I'm just yeah. Damn, story. Parker! Was that off the dome, or do you have that in front of you? Also, pocket adrift. I'm really glad that there are resources out there well, that can help you with you. things like this when you need it. I am also glad for you. Anyway, done. please continue, Harker, with your smart <laughs> questions. So those those principles that underpin it. Can you can we you do. tell us at all about you know how you? how those run through Why the organization, like how they help help trans folks when they call up? But the heart? Yeah, I mean you they run through the organization me. in so many I ways. So like when we talk about structural, reason. not pathological, we <laughs> are never going to like greet you matter? with a risk assessment like other hotlines do. Like we aren't ever going to pathologize you. It's going to be like about what you need, what you're going through. It's going to be a personalized conversation. It's going to be peer support. So it's going to be, you know, really rooted in where you share lived experiences with like the person you're talking to. Um, And then some of the others like structural, like that's why we have our micro grants program because we believe resource redistribution, we believe reparations are a vital part of how we like get free and like trans communities need more than emotional support we need to be invested in uh, black people indigenous people people of color like they need more than just like um words or allyship like we actually need to be moving resources to those communities which is why 75 percent of our grants go to black indigenous um or people of color who are trans um to voyage back through yeah, so really, like, he so to tell his younger self of how to better serve he had everyone. So when you say uh, pathologize, we don't pathologize. Stayed. Can you tell us a bit about what that means? Because that sounds a bit technical to my uh That sounds a bit technical to my my ears. I don't know why I went for, 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 for the southern twang, but hey. Um, <laughs> southern. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, so, so what that just means is like, plan to bring when I say we don't do a risk right assessment, arts. it means we aren't Enough trying to like determine how much of a threat you are to yourself. We aren't like trying to like say like, oh, this anywhere. person is this amount of suicidal or like this person right has these uh, particular hearts. disorders and like relate to you as someone who Vessels? needs to be cured or someone who potentially needs to like have the police come check in on them or like go to a psych ward unless unless that's what you want in which case we'll help you do those things but like um it means like we aren't trying to we're like trying to relate to you as a person instead of as a disorder i guess is how i put it (laughs) did we steal Mm, that's that's fantastic Uh, that's a huge comfort to know because there's somebody who is a little depressed i know i've definitely been in situations where i've wanted to express what's going on but not been able to speak honestly because i was afraid of getting committed yeah yeah exactly that's very valuable and that's why we do that is because like if you you, if people have the fear they're going to be committed right like they aren't going to tell you where they're at and if they aren't going to tell you where they're really at how can you support them um yeah exactly what do you mean hmm. well i oh I think I'll this be the conversation is really good, and I'm really appreciating it. But I do it. think I need Guys. to head out. Um, bed, maybe. <laughs> go to bed. I just <laughs> wanted to like swing by before I went to bed, just to like say again how much we we appreciate 
all of y'all and you know hope yeah, right. hope we get to connect and maybe Let's i'll see you in the morning oh yeah, yeah. appreciate yeah. you and brie i i'm i just want to make sure i'm remembering correctly earlier you said that uh each call costs about 25 dollars per hour ish around that well yeah so yeah to like connect one person to the line costs around 25 dollars yeah on, so chat What's with all right i want pieces? you to i want you to think about that right 25 bucks that we right won? it's not that much money but right. every single time we no. raise 25 dollars that can that can really have a huge impact on someone so that um, could literally save someone's life yeah so you know him? that's that's why i want you to think yeah. about that when well you're considering I know donating <laughs> and thank you again Bree. i don't want to hold you any longer please go to sleep <laughs> well, good night all good night okay but how and <laughs> good night <laughs> another thing if if you yourself might not be in the financial place to donate but you want to help dread word Send but bring bring people in here. Don't know bring your family. Mean. Bring your friends. None of us bring do. them in tomorrow morning. Doesn't need to be right now. Guys, right now <laughs> would also be fun. Uh, but but just fair and square, spread the word. Get people in here. And say um, to try yeah. And get in creators you like say hey they're doing a charity cowards. stream and they like people mm. who are good creators. They probably want yeah. you in. And we probably do. To you <laughs> this is this is true. I can only come up with things off the dome so often. <laughs> I mean, we just I talked just, over I mean, a scene. I just want to let you guys know that, um, remember I told you that there was this, like, dark Riku who shows up for some reason? He just happened, and Sora was just like, oh my god, is my boyfriend evil again? And then Goofy, of all people, was like, no, because he's wearing the black coat of Organization 13. I... <laughs> I hate that I do a pretty good goofy voice. You do an excellent <laughs> goofy voice. I'm very. <laughs> the chip I, made. I am horrified by this skill. What's um, what's um, with the microbots? What's hey, the donation hey, hey. tier to have, have record an entire video so in it? First Baymax. I don't. I don't think there's a donation tier high enough to get me um, to put in that level of effort for a gag. Hey. You, you don't have the ability to do the voice of the person you despise the most. So. <laughs> Goofy has the bad shapes. Why would you make me inhabit his shitty form? Okay, but 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 I can do Jordan Peterson's voice. So like, I have a much more cursed. <laughs> Voice oh, also, theater. also, um, I saw a donation. <laughs> I saw a donation come in earlier that I think had a message. Could somebody check on that and uh, read it out? I think they were requesting a voice. <laughs> oh, I can do a voice. I know. <laughs> 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 also, also, I just want to point out, fucking Maleficent track. and Pete the cat are just walking right. around. BFW Look at Pete with twenty dollars. Oh, can this be read as Mickey Mouse? Why are you Is Ringo around? Bingo Praxis? <laughs> <laughs> that would be none of your God. <laughs> Thank you, BFW. <laughs> but also, yeah, um, fun fact, Pete is a cat. Um, I only know this because I've got it memorized, because they had a whole debate about what animal Pete is, and then apparently got 30 bazillion emails from people being like, Pete is a cat. Pete is a cat. You need to know this. It, it's so weird, because he just doesn't look like a cat at any point in any of the... No, Pete has never looked like a cat in his entire ding ding life, but... Fuck you, Look at him! I could not oh my god, why does he have such a big zipper where it is? <laughs> <laughs> I'm why? Uh, what? <laughs> oh yeah, look at his zipper. It's something. It's such a big I have, zipper. I have, com I have commented on the cursed zipper before. It is cursed. <laughs> it's very cursed. It's very, very cursed. Um, what am I doing now? Head into the uh, city. The saying... Systems. Okay saying trans rights in response to uh, none allowed do uh, none allowed oh. getting us up to 3600 I... in a goofy Whoa. voice. Whoa, okay, uh, Goofy says but trans wait, but rights. Wait, 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 wait. He hasn't donated it. They haven't donated okay. yet. Well, I'll say something Come else on. in Goofy voice. I already none allowed. It. Just, just, just 10 more dollars. Uh, it's so close, it's so close. <laughs> I'm no. sorry, it's late. <laughs> I tried. You're okay. You're okay. Um, I was actually gonna ask uh, Bonic. Uh, have you listened? Well, Noah. <laughs> sorry, yeah. my brain is big. It's fine. We've been up a while. 
And yeah, it's I, also it's also good. Not everyone not everyone watching knows who Noah, Noah is. Yeah, I realized I was like I was like, which one do I say? And my brain was just like going okay. back and forth. Because <laughs> I'm like, I want to say Noah because I feel like that's the right thing to say to you. I want to say polyphonic because it's the right thing to say to chat. Yeah. <laughs> um, is there any recent uh you know uh albums or or uh artists that you feel like people haven't really noticed um, or aren't getting the recognition that you, you think maybe they deserve? Um, uh, I, I, don't, I don't keep up that up to date with like what's going on. I don't listen to a ton of um, underground stuff, but I will say um, uh, Backwash uh, is a Canadian. Uh, they just won um, or were nominated for a Polaris. I think they might have won the Polaris last year. Um, but they're a trans Canadian rapper the and they do like uh, yeah. horrorcore now rap that is Fucking really, oh, really oh, phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh hell yeah. Cool. They're like in all my playlists. Yeah. Yes. yeah back, it's it's is back X wash is how uh, back X wash. Okay. Here I I will post I will post, post uh, the Spotify the link parts. or something into Yeah, the here's here's the, the they're they're not actually yeah. on uh they're not, they, or this album isn't on Spotify, but um, what? this album is phenomenal. Thank you, not allowed. Absolutely phenomenal. Show me. <laughs> not allowed just to um, donate $10. Thank you. They, <laughs> they did. So let's get a clean take of trans rights and Goofy, hey? Uh, no, okay. Uh, door to Darkness, <laughs> Gah Yuck. Uh, <laughs> um, trans rights. <laughs> this pile of junk collected the, uh, the other Thank the you, other artist no, no, no. being attacked is is warning. not is not new the but that I've been really into no is uh, Vashti Bunyan. Have any of you the ever listened to her? For vengeance. No, but well, is it Vashti amazing. or Vashti? Because it's Vashti is like a character in like I don't know <laughs> Jewish literature. <laughs> it's probably Vashti. I don't know. It's like it's. In I think it's her actual name, but she. Hope. So she, yeah. she's this really cool story You're where right. she recorded this kind of like psychedelic sure folk album in 1970, um, that kind well, of went nowhere, but then became part. like a cult favorite, and oh, uh, and conflict. and like. That blew up and kind of started this whole freak folk movement I only and she uh like real. 30 years later recorded a couple so, more albums and is like it. and and became this like cult hero uh i'd like to ro walk around in your mind is the song that i've been obsessed with by her lately can you post a link to their stuff also um a parent naming their child Vashti if they are a Jewish family, a that is the wildest fucking shit because um, Vashti's literally the villain of Purim. I mean, one of them, other uh, than Haman. Vashti's also that a name in fuck. India, I believe. What? Um, Vashti is a on? name in India, I believe. Another oh, form? I didn't know that. I'm oh. fairly oh. certain, oh. but I may be oh. incorrect. Oh. October Oddity is shouting out uh, to Dorian Electro if we're talking yeah. about trans musicians. I I should can you get tell us I about, get about that? I wait. here to talk about Dorian That's Electra. Famous. Dorian Electra kicks what? ass. <gasps> yeah. Wait, uh, who, who, who should you get in here? Mido from oh, Gamescore really? Fanfare. Oh. Oh. I can hit him <laughs> up and see if he wants to pop in. I mean, we're still waiting to hit 4,000 so you can show off your incredible poster art. So I follow- a poster art. God, and me oh, too. Bad. Vashti is an Indian name. Okay, thank you, Space Penny. I did not Good, know I'm that. not misremembering. I'm like, I'm fairly certain Phoenix. I have met people named Vashti from Don't India. Bother. Thank you for clarifying that, Space Penny. I learned a thing today. Um, <laughs> nice work. He's not a puppet. Yeah. Uh, also, by the way, there's an evil Baymax now. We're gonna fight him with a good Baymax. Anyway, as you were. Hey, yes. <laughs> so what's, what's important yes. to understand with the, the languages is I that it is likely that uh, those two names it. occurred semi-independently of each other. Um, due to that would make the most sense. Indo Indo-European languages and a lot of it, your early Indo-European language names still exist to some degree. Yeah. Uh, that that tracks. One piece missing. Um, I love, I love linguistics and the, the language history. No, I know. I'm just watching dark. I'm just watching evil Baymax happen. Yeah, right. Baymax versus Bayman. God. <laughs> God. <laughs> I hate it. You're going to um, also, again, emo, right replica, clone, right. 
Riku, that's <laughs> shitty Riku. But real Riku's good. Real Riku has short hair now. That's how they differentiate that, I guess. I don't know. Thanks, Baymax. Baymax just um fucking toasted that. Well, not really, but it was funny to look at for a second. Uh, Hero. <laughs> Hi, Alex! What should we do? In chat. Hi, Alex! Alex, Max how's it going? <laughs> um, but that chip you've you've isn't missed who a, he is. a very weird evening. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely starting to dip into the coffee more. That's for sure. There to be a Has anyone explained to Alex what Ringo Bingo is yet? Um, Sora? Aaron, you're the one stopped. who talks to them the most. Okay. <laughs> I have. Bingo and the others. Wait, what Ringo Bingo is? You can leave this guy to us. Apparently, it means thread in Hebrew, but it's Persian Thank slash you. Farsi in origin. Well, that makes a lot of sense because Purim takes place in Persia, so like, Fashti might not yes. be the first of her name. The character who appears oh, no. in the Purim story Sora, might not be like the Baymax. originator of the name Vashti okay. or whatever. Baymax. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Sora. Probably wasn't the completely new name when they got it, yeah? <laughs> Maybe not, I don't know. Depends on how you believe Bible stories happen. <laughs> also, we're riding Baymax again! <laughs> Yay! I love riding Baymax! <laughs> I am having a good time. Oh, dear. I ride my robot friend! He helps me fight the other robot who's a mean boy. <laughs> Garbage robot. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm doing great, Alex. Um, this drink's been really fun, so. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a good time. I'm starting to have to drink more coffee. But other than that, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I haven't had to touch the caffeine yet. Okay. I've been sipping it throughout the whole stream, but like I'm definitely starting to take bigger drinks. <laughs> um, how are our guests doing? Yara, how are you doing? Noah, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing yeah. good. Oh, I'm. I mean, I'm trying to stay awake. Oh, thank oh. you. <laughs> I appreciate you. If you need to go to bed. That's okay too, and I completely understand, but thank you for sticking with us. No, it's okay. I made it through like the exact amount of time that I had uh, done the, uh, the sheet for, so uh -huh. I'm proud of myself. Hell oh, yeah! I'm pretty really happy you came on. Yeah! Yeah, yeah sorry I didn't say much, but when you were like. It's okay, yeah, I was no yelling sleep, a lot. So, like, I don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's it's all good. All good. All interaction, and the important thing is that you don't feel like uh like you don't you can't talk with it. Yeah, as long as you I'm feel good. comfortable speaking up when you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, that's the important. October Odyssey. Uh, I too am very gay, and therefore must drink coffee to live. That is just oh, the state of the world. Mood. That's just a mood. I used to not I like coffee, drink. and now um, and now. And now like, you're very gay. <laughs> <sighs> yes, and also uh, shitty, expensive, and sugary coffee drinks are what make me run every day. That's how videos get made. <laughs> I run on overly pricey coffee that's too sweet and probably rots my teeth. I can't really have my caffeine. I'm really careful. Yeah, yeah. When Don't I overdo was... it, Aranok. When I was wrapping up my last video, I pointed out that uh, for every patron, uh, every patron I get, uh, I get to have another coffee while I'm making a video, and so they come out faster. <laughs> I mean, I've just been uh, like the food I have for today or that I've had is like mostly brown rice because I am drinking so much coffee that I want to make sure I don't like upset my stomach. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I have I have reflux problems. I have, my stomach hates me. My digestive system is bad. Also, I think I'm gonna die and have to do this again. Um, oh no! Yeah. Woo! Oh yeah, wait, I got a couple of coins. Right after saying my stomach hates me and my digestive system is bad. <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, that too. But also, I forgot I bought a Koopa coin. That's why you buy them. So they stop you from dying. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish you could heal during this, like, quick time event, though. Good god. That would be really nice! 
Nah. You, no, too easy for you. we don't need that shit. We just <laughs> we just out here doing the best we can. Wait. Oh, did Baymax just heal me? Baymax, you're better than Donald. Everyone. <laughs> Donald doesn't <laughs> want to do anything. Donald doesn't. Donald, also, you are hella valid. What? Oh yeah. Drink tea. Tea drinkers are free. also are valid. valid. I'm just not a fan of tea because I only drink it when I'm sick. So I have like I bad love, associations. I love tea, so that's what I usually have. I've also, been drinking a whole bunch of yerba mate lately, and it's so good. What? Mm. Uh, like a s South American tea that's drunk with the leaves in through a straw, typically out of a gourd. It's very highly caffeinated, which I like because I am in need. Because um, I'm an addict, let's be honest. Uh, and tastes like grass. It is quite nice. With substance on the market, other than sugar. And that's not even an exaggeration. The actual psychological processes are addictive. It's a problem. <laughs> sorry, I think it was lately that I cut off that. Was it? Uh, sorry, I don't know. I'm just trying not to die. <laughs> uh, coffee does smell nice. I think he does smell any coffee right now, just in general. He talked about it, and I could imagine the scent. <laughs> Okay, Sam. we're almost there, we're almost there. I just need to do a, I so just excited. need to put a few more good punches on him. Come on! Yes! Okay. Got it. Did it. I beat the dark Baymax. And the best part is that the way this plotline ends is that Hero has two good Baymaxes. He has two of them at the end of this plotline! What a good what? life that boy has. He just gets two of them! Have you guys, this is gonna be a random question, but have you guys seen any uh, videos by the YouTuber Keen the Bean? No. Okay. Sorry. He's, he's a very uh, small uh, video essayist and he's- No, no, I no, like no. I, I, I say no in kind of an excited way because that means that's someone new to watch. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. Do you want to post Maya. a link to his I stuff in chat? I've TikTok of all places. Guys, Where you nice. meet a lot of folk. Heroes. Yeah, his his there's a really high production value and really high quality, and he only has like three thousand subscribers. It's kind of a crime. Uh, Damn. Share his so, stuff. Do we still have voice text or something? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Post I'll do that. I just sent him a random message on Instagram. I was like, hey, if you're up so and bored, you want to come hang out, maybe? <laughs> should I uh, should I hit up GameScore we'll fan fair and see if, if we want to be certain? If you're gonna stick around and and be and 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 be his his uh, friend sure? person too, yeah, then like yeah, yeah, yeah sure. I'll far. see. He's in Australia, so uh, he's way. he's a good one to have at this time. But I don't know if he's busy. Yeah, it's only about seven at night, uh, seven seven in the evening at the moment. Um. It's the right thing to Man, do. Man, I'm loving... I, I, I just keep getting sucked into what's going on on the screen, because it is so... <laughs> much. It is so much. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Like... <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We aren't even to the end game shit, although we're about to... Oh my god, so... Oh. so when I we did... leave Big Hero 6, there's going to be a mountain of cutscenes, some boss fight, like, stuff that you can't... You just... You're just in it. Um, and that after all that stuff happens, that might be a good Would've time to do some thing. hunting for lucky emblems. Yeah, so... Uh, but not yet, we got time. The There's Wikipedia. stuff that's gonna happen first. Isn't that... <laughs> um, like a lot of stuff. Also, I shouted out Alex, people should go follow him. He's, uh, awesome, and... <laughs> that's okay. Uh, you can't see Baymax all the work that he's done for the here. charity stream, um, but he has done a lot. Uh, he just was. Uh, it's it, it's been well. enormous. Should be the one. So uh, he hasn't been around as much, but Alex is is my uh, is my big sibling. He's my. Alex did a lot to help Aww. me set up uh, just mm -hmm. a lot of everything you're looking oh. at, like. Um, Kunin helped me figure out this Tiltify donate bar, but like pretty much everything else, Alex walked me through. Yes. Amazing. Also, yeah, there are two Baymaxes now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shout out from P. Terry with fifteen dollars. Uh, trans rights, woot woot, T. Gang. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> 
That's a message we can all get behind. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Are we done with Big Hero 6? I think we are. This so while like... I've got a bunch of YouTubers here just streaming, can you guys just real quick teach me how to make video essays? That'd be cool. <laughs> well, um, so, uh, scream <laughs> into a Google document until you think it sounds nice, and then, uh, yell at a video editing software for a month, and put it together and hate yourself a lot in the process because it's not going the way you hoped it would. Make uh, a bunch of fun. bad video essays until suddenly you're uh, maybe in theory able to make good ones. <laughs> Damn it. I really want to. I, I, I do is actually. There... I do actually have a lot of advice on essay making. Yeah. This is we want to discuss. Is... I don't actually want to make video essays per se, but I do want to make. Um, I've been in the process of trying to learn how to do video editing for a while, but I am mm. bad at learning things. But I would like to make a YouTube channel that's dedicated to. Uh, it's kind of like a cooking channel, but it's aimed specifically at people who are surviving off of a food bank right now. Because all the food bank uh, stuff I see is usually oh, yeah, you like aimed about at this. people who. Somebody, yeah, yeah, people who are wanting to donate to a food bank, not people who actually need them. And as like a solidarity thing, I wanted that's to. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah, but I'm that bad. I don't, want to, I don't want to be on camera, and I don't want to video it. <laughs> Well, so being yeah. on camera, think... all you need for the cooking stuff is you could do very much the, um, the, like, BuzzFeed Tasty style of, like, top down on your table, which does require something for your camera to sit on to get those shots. Yeah, like, I, I, <laughs> oh, I shit, I need a camera. I, I got it. You know, you can't make it anymore. Like, it's phones yeah. nowadays have good enough cameras that they are yeah, closed it after beating Ansem. decent. Like, my entire video was shot on my camera using a tripod that I wanted to put for a camera. It's actually really cool, and it's it's got um, it's got magnets on the bottom, and the three legs are completely prehensile. Like you can um, position them however you want. So the only thing is, if you're in a kitchen that has just like your basic kind of overhead lighting, you might want to get at least like one nice, um, yeah, like special for TV lighting, because yellow light is very um, unhealthy looking, especially with food. It won't look pleasing with the wood. I have a light therapy lamp. That's what I use to light my video. <laughs> Nice one. And it That's what my so roommate. Out. My roommate has one of those. Oh, they're they're amazing. I, um, I, I've I've got one. Maybe I should turn it on to give myself a oh, boost okay. of energy. Oh, to keep me on for yeah. a few more hours. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Um, my my body doesn't produce vitamin D properly, so I'm on vitamin D supplements and stuff. But I. Uh, I still needed to be on that when I was uh, when I was a rower and I was like spending 60 hours in the sun a week, you know. <laughs> so so now that I'm like not outside at all, I, I really needed needed it. 